We talked about the seafood guidance um, back in 2014. FDA published this study on the net um, effects of, of seafood consumption for, for pregnant and for nursing women. Um, but yet the FDA's seafood, seafood consumption advice doesn't reflect this, contrary, contrary to the government's own finding. Effectively, FDA uh, relied not on their own research, but on EPA's mercury reference dose, which is a toxicology standard that ignores the benefits of seafood, in my view, and, and measures risks in isolation. So um, I have been pushing on this, as you know, to get the FDA to, to correct this, to reflect the FDA's own science instead of the EPA mercury data. So I, I would like to know from you whether you are, whether you are willing to put some focus and energy into ensuring that effectively the, the, the FDA um, follows its own guidance here, its own science in, um, in making sure that we do not send conflicting or confusing messages or signals uh, to those pregnant women um, and, and to children when it comes to proper seafood advisory and guidance. Senator, I promise focus and energy, and I also want to thank you. I enjoyed that discussion very much and had a very great discussion with my pregnant daughter about the brain food associated with seafood, so thank you. Well, I, I, don't, I don't want to throw out statistics out here, but an average 7.7% point, point increase in IQ for babies whose moms ate seafood during pregnancy. You want a smart baby? <laughs> eat that. Eat that seafood now um, and uh, in, in good quantities there, so.